So, there has been a little bit of controversy regarding Amy Schmidt. I might be mispronouncing that. Sorry if I'm butchering your last name, Amy. Um, basically, this is the 30-something-year-old comedian who said in an interview this. And I'll play it now for you. If it isn't Hillary in November, does your act change? Does your outlook change? My act will change because I'll need to learn to speak Spanish because I will move to Spain or somewhere. It's now, of course, we all know that Trump actually won the election. And now she is claiming that it was a joke. Funny, when you watch the video, she doesn't seem like she is joking. In fact, she seems actually like she is actually quite serious. But regardless of that, it is now apparently a joke, and she's not planning on moving to Spain anymore. Which is a bit of a shame, because I would have liked to try and learn to speak Spanish. But yeah, guys, so apparently this whole thing was a bit of a joke. Now, obviously the girl is a comedian. Um, she is a celebrity, of course, and I presumably presume that she was paid by the Democrat Party to speak or to, to endorse by them to do this. Whether or not it might have been money or whether it was get fruit to promotions, there would be something that she would obviously get to 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 say, I presume, to obviously say this. Considering that she also posted this on her Instagram and I'll put a photo up now. Now, at first glance, this actually looks like an article. It looks like a newspaper article. It had me convinced. I thought, whoa, what? Trump said that? I don't remember. So I went through and did a bit of research. And the funny thing is, is that when you actually get to the bottom of the article, it says this. And I quote, This quote is fake, but it doesn't matter. So the quote that we're talking about here, guys, is where Trump supposedly says, If I were to run, I'd run as a Republican. They're the dumbest group of voters in the country. They believe anything on Fox News. I could lie and they'd still eat it up. I bet my numbers will be terrific with Donald Trump written under it. Now, it has got the whole quotation marks around it, which does imply that it is actually a quote. It has a photo of Donald Trump above, which is an old photo of him. And it also has his name under it too, like it is actually a quote from Donald Trump. But then, like I say, you get to the bottom of the article and it says this. Uh, that, yes, this quote is fake, but it doesn't matter. I'm sorry, but who the else is sick of the amount of bullshit that has been quite... The amount of crap that has come out in this campaign. And I, I don't see much of it on the Republican side. It's all the Democrats that... It's the amount of crap that has been published and printed and said... That, that I generally normally would always vote Democrat. But with everything that happened with Hillary, with the, the emails, the WikiLeaks, the fake news slots, the news articles, the quotes, the, you know, oh, Donald Trump assaulted me 15 years ago. I, I waited 15 years to, to report it because he was running for president and then Apparently that was all fake. I'm going to look into that and I'll make another video on that later for you guys. But it's just the amount of crap that has been spread by the Democratic Party over this whole election is insane. You, you people do realise you can be charged for this. If you come out and say, Donald Trump assaulted me 15 years ago, that is defamation if it didn't happen. You can be charged, and for the love of God, I am hoping that Trump throws the book at you people for the amount of crap that you are spinning. If he's done something, fine, talk about it, quote, whatever, let everybody know about it. But don't go making fake bullshit stories to try and swing the pop of your vote. Well, is that the only way the Democrats can win an election now? Is by bullshitting and lying to people? You know, you go on saying that, oh, they believe anything on Fox News, they could lie and still eat it up. I'm, I'm sorry, Amy, but at the moment, 
The Democrats are the ones that are lying through their fucking teeth. They are the ones that are spreading so much crap and bullshit. And I'm sorry, but it's the Democrat, the people that voted Democrat that are eating it all up, not the Republicans. It's the Democrats who turn around and said, Oh, Donald Trump's not going to accept the election results. Well, I hate to tell you, but the writing on the street saying that the Democrats aren't really accepting it either. So, you know, this <coughs> hypocrite mean anything to you people? You go on about Trump not accepting the results and making him out to be a bad guy for it, but when your election is lost, or when your election is lost and you lose, all of a sudden, it's okay to riot. In fact, you can get Michael Moore on TV encouraging it. Jesus freaking God. And that'll be another video that I'm going to put up too, because I think that is absolutely deplorable as well. And, you know, hey, but it's okay. 48% of the population in America are a bunch of deplorables. Right, Hillary? Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you sick of this crap as much as everybody else? Or do you think that this was okay? Hit me up in the comment section below. Apart from that, guys, if this video has been helpful, please smack a like on it. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and enjoy.